Radio Monaco, Place Royale. Et nous y voici Franck, Albert de Nico, l'invincible. The Motor Spirit is here in Monaco. And it's time for the Monaco Grand Prix. The wealth, the glamour, make Monaco the star of the Formula One schedule. And it doesn't hurt to have the Cannes Film Festival down the road a bit. The festival ends on Saturday, so you'll see Hollywood stars and celebrities on the pre-grid Sunday. Many of them will be watching from the magnificent yachts in the harbor. Some of them are like floating palaces. And here is mine. Monaco's glamour wasn't always the case. As Somerset mom, who lived nearby, famously said, it's a sunny place for shady people. And that goes way back. In 1297, Francois Grimaldi, a bit of a pirate and buccaneer, masqueraded as a monk and snuck into the palace fortress and along with his men conquered it. The Grimaldis are still here. Monte Carlo has had its ups and downs. In the late 1800s, it was broke and opened the casino, attracting English and Russians looking for warm weather. That's when the name was changed to Monte Carlo before it was Les Spelig, Den of Thieves. In the 1950s, Greek shipping tycoon Aristotle Onassis bought into it to keep it afloat. The late Prince Rainier's car collection is in an eclectic mix from carriages to Formula One. The Monte Carlo Rally started in 1911, preceding the Grand Prix which started in 1924, and current F1 cars are full of aero gizmos as compared to not so long ago. And driving an F1 car these days takes a lot of switch flipping versus wheel wrestling as seen in this Alpha. In Alfred Hitchcock's movie To Catch a Thief, Grace Kelly drove this Sunbeam Alpine with Cary Grant. It's a bit frumpy. This was a factory color for the SL. And this Ferrari would be perfect for cruising Casino Square, but the star car for me is this 1947 Delahaye. How sporty is this? Ayrton Senna was the Monaco master, winning it a record six times. It was after World War II that Monaco really became what it is today. And with more tourist cruise ships coming, space for boutiques and all are at a premium. And there is talk of a Monaco businessman who wants to develop and take over the area that's now used for the F1 TV compound. And as it has been said, no TV, no Grand Prix. Well, who's going to win uh, Sunday's race? Really? Wow. That's cool. <laughs>